Hey, happy Friday, Calvary. Pastor Chad here with your word for the day. Hey, I hope you're excited about this weekend. I hope we'll see you this weekend. We've got some great things to share with you this weekend about the future of Calvary. So uh, whether you join us online or in person, we don't care, but I hope you join us uh, this weekend. Hey, uh, what came first, the chicken or the egg? I know people ask that question all the time. My theological answer is, of course, the chicken, because God created chickens and the chickens laid the eggs. After that, you can have that argument all you want. So what comes first, honor or humility? Well, here's what Proverbs says. Verse, uh, chapter 15, verse 33 says, The fear of the Lord is instruction and wisdom, and humility comes before honor. Humility comes before honor. Uh, lots of people want honor. They want leadership, they want recognition, they want fame, they want applause, but they don't necessarily want to pay the price to get there. Uh, the price is humility, according to God. You see, humility recognizes that we are servants of God. In other words, if you want honor, you have to own that identity as a servant of the living God. There's no shortcuts, and honestly, uh, the best honor you can have is to be called a servant of the living God. Humility focuses on serving others, not ourselves. In other words, you want to look for ways you can bless other people on their journey of life and on their journey of faith. And humility celebrates others' achievements. In fact, you can tell that pride has a hold on your life when you're always comparing yourself to others and you're envious in your heart. You know, you can't rejoice when others rejoice uh, and, and you kind of celebrate when others weep. That, that might be evidence of pride. Here's why humility is so important. Scripture says repeatedly that God opposes the proud but gives grace to the humble. Humble yourself under God's mighty hand that he can lift you up or exalt you is uh, one of the translations at the proper time. You see, God exalts those who practice humility. God is the one who gives them honor. If we try to get honor ourselves, um, we're usually going to fail. We'll, we'll sell ourselves out. We'll sell ourselves short. We'll uh, give in to pride, competition. It's all ugly. Uh, but see, when you trust God to give you the honor, it's real honor. So that's why humility is necessary before honor. Not necessarily fame, fortune, success, but those don't always come with honor, do they? And if you watch reality TV, you know what I'm talking about. So today, I pray that you choose honor and that you choose to live in humility. Again, as a servant of God who's focused on serving others and who celebrates when others win. I hope that blesses you, and I hope you have a blessed day.